<laughs> this is uh, epic. Uh, to say excited would be an understatement. I just think it's uh, an amazing opportunity, an amazing event, uh, an amazing competitive opportunity, but also for fans all over the country, all over the world. This is going to be an epic event, and we get to be part of it. So, yeah, really excited. You've uh, mixed in old and young. How is that work? You probably never had that experience before. Yeah, it's a blast. We've got these veterans that have brought so much experience and leadership and savvy, and we've got these young guns here that are just out of college that just want to play and run and do well, and the collaboration's awesome. You know, they have meals together, they live together, they solve puzzles together, they watch TV together, and you know, somebody in their mid-30s is with somebody that just got out of college, and the, the collaboration of that has been a beautiful thing to see, so it's been fun for everybody. When it comes to Atlanta, what have you been doing to prepare for them, or have you been maybe focusing more on your side of the net? Well, a little of both, you know, for sure. I think in the Athletes Unlimited, everybody knew who everybody else was and they played against and with each other. So there's a lot of knowledge with these players on who we're playing against and their players have a lot of knowledge of ours. So that's that. But we're for sure trying to do some specific things that would give us a position to, to score points or to, to be aware of what they're doing. But a lot of it's like we have to just play good too. You know, and we're going to be in an amazing event and I think our players are going to be juiced, excited. Um, really, really having fun, and I think both teams will have a blast. Both teams have really good players, so who knows how it's going to come out, but I just know it's going to be an epic event, and we're going to be really fired up about being part of it. Coaches in the preseason poll, uh, coach in the preseason poll, uh, the other coaches picked Omaha to win the league. Uh, surprised by that or happy about that or any reaction? Well, I, you know, we have good players, but everybody in the league's got really good players. I, I could go down the list of every team in the league and say, we're scared of that player, we're scared of that player, that player's incredible, that player's awesome. Every team in our league has good players, and every night it's going to be 26-24, 23-25, and they're going to say, this team has the best team, but it's going to come down to two or three or four or five points in all of these games. So it's nice that we have some good players. That, that's comforting. Atlanta's got a lot of good players. It's going to be a battle, but all the other teams have a lot of good players. So I don't, I don't think anybody's going to take anything for granted. We've talked to our team and they all know every game this year, no matter where we're playing, it is going to come down to a few points here and there. And it has nothing to do with who voted you number one. It has to do with who executed those key points at the key moments. And that's what we're going to fine tune today in our final practice before we, we get to play tomorrow night at the CHI Center. How difficult was it to get this uh, roster whittled down to 14 where it needed to be? Yeah, I mean, it's a challenge. We had a lot of good players in the training camp. We had so many wonderful people. We, we had some people that were amazing people that we had to let go. That's not easy. But at the same time, you know, there was a date. We had to get down to the right number of people, and we did that. We've got some veterans. We've got some young players. We've got a good mix of positions. I, I just think we're in a good place with our team, and we're ready to go. So uh, I, we're, we're going to have a great team. We have some good depth, and, and we're just going to go for it tomorrow and give it our best shot. Other than a win, of course, what do you hope comes out of tomorrow, especially it being the first match in this league? Well, I think what I really hope for is it's really a high-level volleyball play with a lot of people there, a lot of eyes on it. Um, I think I hopefully it'll be entertaining and a high level of play and the whole country will say this league is awesome It's legit. These players are great. This this league is fun to watch. They're stars in the league They'll have favorite players a libero a setter an outside hitter a middle all these different players will be favorite players of different people um, And I just think for us to have the honor of the first match is special and they it's not by coincidence It's in Omaha, you know, we're gonna have a crowd. We're gonna have an amazing support um, you know, we're going to have, I don't know how many thousands, but we're going to have a, the largest crowd in the history of professional women's volleyball indoor, and Nebraska likes to set records, so here we go, let's set one, and then we go from there, but I just think, I just think that, I think everybody that's been skeptical about the league is going to see this league is awesome, and the people that have been excited about the league, they're going to have it justified because we're going to be playing some great volleyball, and I think it's going to be fun for everybody, and I think the whole world and the whole country is going to be talking about it because it's going to be the first one of its kind, and we get to have it right here in Omaha. Are you confident Nebraska fans are going to embrace these players from Wisconsin and Penn State and, and these other schools? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've already had a lot of fans, you know, they love the Penn State players. 
Rutgers and the Wisconsin players, and those are some of the fan favorites already because they kind of knew who they were. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. We've had we've had season ticket holder uh, events where they've come out and signed autographs. We've had people coming up to our players and, and appreciating that they're here and representing now, representing Omaha. So I don't think that's an issue at all. I think they're going to come over quick and, and be part of us, and we're going to enjoy that support. And I just think we're going to feel like we're one big family here, part of Omaha and part of Nebraska, and an extension of all the great college programs and club and high schools that have been here in the past that have set that fan base. Now they can come over and be Supernova fans, and I think that's great. So the two players,